Well, 2020 and 2021 really did a number on the breakfast joints in London. Restaurants that would open at 7am to feed the thousands of hungry commuters now only open at lunchtime due to the reduced footfall. So if you're visiting London, where can you find the best breakfast joint still in operation? Well, these are mine and I hope you'll try them out too. We start opposite Liverpool Street Station in the heart of the city. Let's travel up 40 floors for a modern cool restaurant with, let's say, a playful take on traditional British food. And it's open 24 hours a day, so you can get the views day or night. What sets it apart is the views. On a clear day, you can see 54 kilometers in each direction. It's a memorable treat if you or you have friends here on a vacation. During the afternoon and evening, it's a bar and restaurant too, not just useful for breakfast. The food always delivers. Whilst its signature dish is the duck benedict, I tend to order the duck egg en cocotte. A bubbling skillet of slow baked eggs laced with wild mushrooms, gruyere and truffle served with toast soldiers. Or their full breakfast. The herby Victorian sausages are so tasty and the eggs rich and fluffy. And my personal favourite, the smoked salmon royale. A poached egg with hollandaise, horseradish and chives, served on a signature waffle. Well, the place does have waffle in its title. I've ordered extra black pudding with mine because I love that spicy earthiness with the runny egg. It's fun in the morning to watch the aircraft fly over the building into London City Airport and given the venue, the prices aren't that expensive. And as an extra bonus, there's a massive marine fish tank in the building's reception. And our second is the classic full English fry up. And it's set in the warmest and coziest cafe in London. A short stroll from the tube station at Bethnal Green, one of London's true melting pots, is the institution that is E. Polici. Run by the Polici family since the turn of last century and currently run by Nevin Maria, it's a coloured glass and wood mecca to a time when the Cray twins frequented this East End cafe. If you're looking for a traditional full English fry up, this is my fave. Quality ingredients are used, sausages that are perfectly flavoured and not mystery bags of meat, thick salty bacon and black pudding that's seasoned to perfection. Much better than the greasy spoon alternatives you can get elsewhere. You can also mix and match ingredients if they don't suit you. So if you want a quality full English in a cafe that feels like you're part of the family, E. Polici is it. So you up for a little spice in the morning? I thought you were, you little devil, I could tell. So uh, let's head to Dishoom. With several locations across the fashionable parts of London, Dishoom is admittedly a modern inspired interpretation of the cafes of Bombay. With friendly staff, an upmarket feel and well, upbeat lift music, it's a spicy way to break your fast. A must to start is the chai, rich and spicy, warming, leaving a tingle on the lips and free top ups. My face for food, the Kedruwal, two soft yolked fried eggs on chili cheese toast, a modern reimagining of masala toast. The cumin, coriander and chili is perfect with the creamy eggs. I have this every day. The classic bacon naan roll, packed with smoky flavours, encased in a fresh baked naan and held together by chilli jam, cream cheese 
and herbs. And my absolute favourite, Kima per Edu. Spicy chicken Kima topped with runny yolked fried eggs and crisp chips, served with uber buttery homemade buns. I'm a lucky boy, and so will you be if you visit. And if you're veggie or vegan, this quiet, quaint cafe is just for you. Tucked away in posh Fitzrovia, Kin is quaint and informal, specialising in vegan and veggie breakfast staples, sandwiches and sweets, plus really good coffee and smoothies. I like they don't mimic meat, but produce perfectly cooked and beautifully presented dishes using high quality vegetarian and vegan produce. I love halloumi, so it's essential whenever I'm here. The avocado beautifully seasoned and the homemade beans are to die for. The staff are so lovely and price is very reasonable. Plant based? Then make a beeline to north central London. And our last venue, voted on by you, is the one I probably frequent the most. Its flavours are heavenly and perfect portion sizes. There are a lot of good Malaysian restaurants in London and Putera Puteri is right up there. I find myself going there often for breakfast and order the same thing each time. No, not the nasi lemak, although that is good, but roti kanai accompanied with three curry puff. Homemade flaky paratha, served with a gravy from the traditional chicken potato curry. So Moorish and savoury, with the right amount of heat and the curry puff. Crispy pastry shell containing curry with chicken and potatoes. Also great for dipping in that sauce. You may think it's spicy, but it's a perfect jolt for 8.30am before work or sightseeing. Well, those are my favourites, but what are yours? Why don't you tell me in the comments? And who knows, I'll go and visit. I do have some honourable mentions, and here they are now. So until next time, bye! Breakfast banh mi, the way forward. Whoever put pate and smoked bacon together, brilliant. Are you still here?